Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I have the Smart Live Stream Cam from AI Coco or iCoco. I'm not sure how it's pronounced exactly, but I have left a link in the description to the product. So if you do want to check it out, um, go to the link in the description for that. So this is a more than a standard type of webcam, guys. Uh, so I know you know when you first look at it, Smart Live Stream Cam is pretty undescriptive, but this is a special AI controlled webcam with a motorized base. So it does move around. This thing moves around, guys. Um, and you can just let me just show you the pivot point there. And on here. And this basically tracks you, which is why I left this here, which we'll go over in a minute, because those are some hand gesture controls, which this camera does recognize. Uh, but there you go. It is a you know AI-controlled web camera. It has face tracking. When you move around, it will lock on you, and it will just follow you around. So it's very smooth and completely quiet. And that is your... Uh, effectively your field of view besides the field of view of the camera itself you got this field of view as the camera smoothly tracks you so I have tested it briefly and um, I can tell you it does work the other fascinating thing about this is it's completely driverless um, it's plug and play and all the computing for the tracking is done on board on the camera itself there's also a built-in microphone so we will test that as well and test out the picture quality, check out the tracking as well in a moment. But uh, let me just show you the rest of this camera before we move on. So there is the uh, socket for the cable. So that's a USB Type-C cable, but I uh, do know it is a USB 2 cable. So that's what it's running over, the bandwidth. Uh, we have a standard type of monitor bracket. So yeah, absolutely fine. And also we have there is a threaded socket for putting on tripod so yeah you have different ways of using it on a tripod or on top of your monitor and uh, and yeah this is what this fellow looks like um, other features that you need to know it is uh, the resolution is 2k and it runs at 30 frames per second although on the website it says 25 frames per second um, I'll, I'll recheck that in a moment I have used it a couple of days ago just setting it up and trying it out and um, I did forget uh, which uh, frame rate is running at, but it's either one, it's either 30 or 25. We'll, we'll see in a moment. And uh, yeah, so onto this, on the instructions, it gives you these uh, hand gestures. So when you first plug it in, the camera will just be locked. It'll just be just like a normal webcam, just pointing in one direction. And to get it to start tracking, you do this hand signal there, and uh, you can zoom as well. So um, yep, yeah, so that's all, it's that hand signal to zoom. As you can see, illustrated on there. You do that twice and the third time it will zoom out. So it's got like two levels of zoom and then it will zoom back and reset itself. And also you can stop the tracking and uh, resume the tracking with that hand signal. And that's it. So we're plugged in, we'll try it out. And uh, you know, you can see how well it works simply by watching the demonstration coming up. Okay, let's get the microphone test out of the way quickly. So we're using the microphone built into this web camera. The web camera is at arm's length. So this is what you can expect from the sound quality. What do you think? How do you think this sounds to you? Well, I'm sure you can tell it's not the greatest sounding microphone. Um, and I would suggest if you are going to be using this web camera, you do invest in a separate microphone, use something different, very much like what I normally use. So let's move on and uh, switch over to this microphone right now. Now let's test the AI tracking. Let's test the accuracy of the hand gesture controls. There's only three hand gestures to remember. So you have the digital zoom. You can use either hand, it is ambidextrous. And you can also pick up those hand gestures when you're moving around, usually, so that's actually pretty good. Um, to freeze the tracking, use this signal. And to zoom it, use this signal here, once again. So very accurate and very quick. 
That completes my demonstrations for the AI tracking and gesture controls. The tracking is absolutely flawless. Um, you can even leave the room and come back in and it'll pick you up. So um, no matter where I was in the room, as long as it could see you, it'd lock onto your face and sense you in the middle of the screen. So absolutely perfect. It's nice and quick, accurate. Um, yep, so yeah, thumbs up on that one. As for the gesture controls, generally 99% of the time it was perfect. Just very rarely would it miss a gesture, uh, but overall I'd say I was really happy with it. And considering it could pick up a gesture while you're moving around, I thought it was really impressive too. Personally, I don't see a need for a web camera above 1080p, so I'm recording this at 1080p. But do know this does support 2K resolution, so yeah, really interesting. And I think even at 1080p, I think it's a really good sharp image. As for the image quality of this web camera, it's very decent, but you can judge for yourself since I have recorded the majority of this video using this web camera. So yeah, what do you think guys? Um, yeah, I think everything looks clean, it looks clear, um, yeah, sharp, no problems whatsoever, and also color reproduction, I'd say it's nice and accurate too. Okay, let's start wrapping up this review for the smart live stream cam, that fella there. And um, yeah, overall, really happy with its performance. Um, as a web camera, picture quality is good. Um, the tracking, the AI tracking, and the hand gesture controls, Absolutely fabulous, amazing stuff, really clever stuff, and, and quite frankly, quite a useful feature to have in a web camera, being able to track you. Um, it's like having your own personal cameraman, which I think is quite fantastic. The only negative point I have is the built-in microphone in this web camera is really quite bad. Um, it's not the worst I've used, but it's certainly below the best uh, microphone I've used in a web camera. So it's not a given that just because a web camera has a microphone, the microphone should be a throwaway feature that, you know, they add it in there, but it's going to be bad. I don't think that's the case. So considering this is a high-end piece of hardware, I would have liked to have seen a better built-in microphone. Besides that, I've been really happy with the performance of this web camera. You know, do remember there's no software drivers installed all the brains is it is actually part of the web camera itself. It has its own onboard processor. All that AI control is onboard processing. So there's no reliance on your computer. So there's no resource hogging going on. It's all done, you know, inbuilt into that camera itself. So yeah, that's good to know as well. Um, yeah, I think the price is fair. I think it's actually a nice piece of tech. Um, it's clever stuff. It works really well. No complaints. As I said, other than the microphone, it's actually doing a really, really good job. So if you are interested, there is a link in the description. So that's it for this one, guys. Hope you found this video useful. So until next time, take care and bye-bye.